Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. You know, nowadays a lot of people are concerned about not only saving money, but saving the world in which we live in. And Make Volume 18 is all about that. It's the remake issue, and there's a lot of cool projects in here, including one called a barrel water collector that helps you save not only money, but water. Let's make it. The main ingredient for the barrel water collector, a barrel. Now this is a wine barrel, but you could use a whiskey barrel or a pickle barrel. There's even some places that have plastic recycled barrels that can be used. As long as it holds a lot of water, it'll work for this project. So let's get started. There are quite a few different ways that you could get water out of this barrel, but this project calls for an old fashioned hand pump. And I got this one at Northern Tool and Equipment. Now to get the water out of the bottom of the barrel, we're going to need a length of PVC pipe. This is a one and a quarter inch diameter by about three foot length. And we'll also need some threaded adapters, one and a quarter inch, that go to not only our hand pump, but also our foot valve. Now if you're not familiar with one of these, what a foot valve does is it prevents backflow and loss of prime, and it allows for an efficient flow of the water, which will prevent us from having to pump a lot to get the water from the bottom of the barrel. We're going to be drilling three holes in the top of our wine barrel. One is going to be for our hand pump. Now we want to make sure that uh, the hand pump clears the edge of the wine barrel and when we've got it pretty close in place, we'll make a mark right about where the hand pump hole should go. And then we'll make two more marks on the top of our wine barrel and that'll be where water will flow into the barrel. We'll be using a two and a half inch hole saw and let's make our holes in the top of our wine barrel. Mmm, I can smell the wine. Okay, our three holes are uh, drilled through and now our two intake holes need to be covered with some metal screening and I couldn't find any regular aluminum screening but I did find this wall repair patch kit which uh, is pretty cool because it's got a piece of uh, screening in it and it's got a sticky tape back and uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to use the sticky tape back just to adhere the pieces and then I'm going to use a staple gun to staple them in place. I'm just going to lay that over the hole like that and just staple gun it in, make sure it stays. That'll keep leaves and other debris from getting inside the intake hole. It's time to assemble the bottom half of our pipe and we'll be doing that by uh, using a one and a quarter to half inch adapter and the reason why I needed that was because my foot valve is one and a half inch not one and a quarter so I had to go from one and a quarter to half inch and then my half inch and my threaded end will screw into my foot valve. So using some PVC primer we will first prime our PVC pipe here and also prime the one fitting and then our PVC cement and this will hold everything nice and tight. And when you're using PVC cement and you join your connections together, your fittings together, you always want to uh, push them in and then make a turn and that'll hold it nice and tight. Okay and now we can also prime the outside of our quarter inch to half inch adapter and also prime the inside and again PVC cement on both places and put that together with a nice turn. Then we'll be using some Teflon tape and we'll put uh, plenty of that on the threads and then our foot valve will get screwed into that. The hand pump comes with this interior piece which unscrews and it's one and a quarter inch threads which match our one and a quarter inch threaded PVC adapter and that will go in place. So to get the right measurement lay the hand pump over the hole and then kind of eyeball and it appears to be oh, about three quarters of an inch off the uh, top of the hole. So we'll insert our piece of PVC pipe and then based how far the PVC will fit into our adapter, 
which is about one and a half, uh, we're going to make a mark. Now it's better to have too much PVC. You can always cut some away. Okay, we've made our cut and now we're going to insert our adapter into our PVC pipe. And I think this is going to be about a perfect fit because we want there to be plenty of PVC to grip and then also for our hand pump to be flush, which it is. Okay, I'm going to use some Teflon tape and uh, wrap that around the threads of our fitting. Thread it in to the base of our hand pump. And then we're going to use our PVC primer and PVC cement and attach our final piece to our male adapter on our hand pump. The hand pump fit great in the wine barrel. The clearance was just right. It fits flush to the top of the wine barrel. And then the last step would be to uh, use some stainless steel screws. You could use any kind of screws, but stainless steel won't rust. And to screw in our hand pump. And then after everything is working fine and you're sure of that, then we'll use some of this great stuff foam to fill in the gap where the uh, PVC goes into the top of the wine barrel. But for now, We've got ourselves some rainwater that we can use for uh, watering plants or whatever we might need it for. And that's how to save money and water with the Barrel Water Collector. We'll see you next time with another weekend project.